And we know that in New Jersey, they are soon going to be teaching students in the 2022-2023 school year. Um, they're going to be teaching kids about, in the second grade, mind you, about gender identity. So this is happening in schools. But even, you could say, even even worse than the teaching of gender identity, or even more destructive, is what Jen Psaki, this is from the White House. This is not a fringe thing that we're making a big deal out of, whatever. They are coming for your kids using the apparatus all over the country. They want to start using federal law to go after people who try to stand in the way of this agenda. It's a civil rights violation. Oh, they're sending the feds after you. The same people that said that parents who show up at school board meetings and are a little bit uh, testy, are kind of like terrorists, that same DOJ, they may decide that a doctor who doesn't gender affirm an eight-year-old but tries to actually just have some eight-year-old live with their gender until later on, that's not what this White House is okay with. They'll send people after you. Here is Jen Psaki saying that it is gender-affirming health care for transgender kids to have them take uh uh, the, the full transgender surgery and the hormones. Play clip one. Just like the extreme government overreach we've seen in Texas where politicians have sent state officials into the homes of loving parents to investigate them for abuse just to harass and intimidate the LGBTQI plus community, today's vote in Alabama will only serve to harm kids. But Alabama's lawmakers and other legislators who are contemplating these discriminatory bills have been put on notice by the Department of Justice and the Department of Health and Human Services that laws and policies prevent care that health care professionals recommend for transgender minors may violate the Constitution and federal law. To be clear, every major medical association agrees that gender-affirming health care for transgender kids is a best practice and potentially life-saving. President Biden a has committed in both practice. words and actions to fight for all Americans and will not hesitate to hold these states accountable. They're going to send the feds after you, Clay, if you don't want the gender transition people to cut children's I mean, I, I, you can't even talk about this stuff without it's just it's it's horrific. Yeah, and it it is absolutely crazy that we have reached this point where I mean, just think about it. Take it outside of transgender related issues for a moment right now, and just think about this: you can't drive a car in most states until you're 16 years old. You can't certainly vote. You can't go sign up and join the military. You aren't considered an adult until you're 18 years old. You can't buy a beer until you're 21. You can't rent a car in some places, Buck, until you're 25. Why do those age limits exist? Because we believe, rightly, for anyone who has ever been a teenager, and certainly for anyone who has ever raised a teenager, that teenagers often make really bad decisions. And you're going to tell me that a 13-year-old who is uncertain about their gender, probably uncertain about many things in their life, that you should fill them up with hormones and start to change their gender in a way sometimes that becomes virtually irreversible in terms of your ability to have children, in terms of your ability to live a life without difficulty. This is child abuse to me. I mean, and Buck, take it outside of transgender-related uh, issues. I mean, think about how often we heard over the years um, about, for instance, in Africa, there are some places where they will have surgery on girls' genitals in order to it's try female to... female genital mutilation, that's FGM. Right. It, it's, a ton, it's gotten a ton of attention over the last 20, 30 years. And people say, man, this is unbelievable that this would ever be allowed to happen. And that someone would have this surgery happen to me. It's awful. But that that would occur is considered universally to be an awful thing to a minor. Well, you can have surgeries that are occurring to minors. You can pump them full of all sorts of hormones that are changing what their body would naturally do. This is child abuse, and and I don't. I mean, the idea that Jen Psaki argued there, Buck, that it's a constitutional violation to uh, to to say, hey, you got to wait till you're 18 years old to make a choice like this. I mean, Clay, th that is this first is of all, where not this true. is true. It's crazy. this is where this is heading.